Hi everyone. So I'm going to assemble the bunny box that you saw in the pictures. Um, I think it's really, really cute. When you cut it, you're going to have the front and back and also the flap. You want to fold all the score lines as usual. On the sides, you'll see what's meant to be like a pinch pleat for the top of the box so you get that effect when it's assembled. So you don't really want to fold the scores on the side really deep or anything, just gently. But it's okay to do that after the box is assembled. I've used a blue pearl paper. Um, I love the Cricut pearl paper, so I hope you'll give it a try. It's terrific. And you have the flap for the top, but I think I showed that to you. I was hoping to make this video a reasonable length of time, so I assembled some of the components in advance. So there's a little bow, but honestly, um, I think I would use a real bow on the finished box. I think it would be really cute. I should have dug out some ribbon to match, but I assembled the snout and the nose and the whiskers in advance. Um, his little tail, I put on puff dots, so it would be released from the box a little and look like a tail. I assembled the paws in advance. His mouth, tongue, and teeth. It looks a little strange, but it's cute when it's on. The ears. His eyes. And I put these little white dots on to give the illusion of a light reflection when it's put together on his face. Um, and we have the head and body for the front. And we have a piece for the back. So the piece for the back, my intention was to use a big piece of white add his tail but leave room where you can add a personal note like maybe um, happy Easter from grandma or love grandma or whatever it is you'd like to write on it and uh, let's go ahead and put this together so the first thing you want to do is assemble your box partially you don't want to put it completely together so you're going to attach these two pieces together. It's cut in two pieces so that you have room to make it big enough because your maximum cut is 11 and a half inches. There we go. And we'll assemble these two pieces. Nice and straight, I hope. That looks pretty good. There we go. And this side we won't do yet. We'll decorate it first and then we'll attach the last side. So this will be, let's say, the back of your box. So this is where I'm going to put the largest piece. To reflect the back of the bunny's body. I guess if you're going to write a note on it, it would be better to put your note on first. I need to refill my tape runner. I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. But I'm kind of glad it happened because without thinking, I was going to attach the back of the bunny on the back of the box without putting on my flap first. And when I just came back to sit down, I realized that I hadn't put on the flap. So let's attach that to the back of the box. So then you have your flap for closure. You want that on first so that the um, mechanics of it, if you can call it that, will be behind the bunny's body and not on top of it of course so there we go and we'll just center this on the back there's the body and like i was about to say i think you should probably do the message that you want to put on it first before attaching it. it'll be a lot easier to write on it before you build your box. So we'll just get the top off these dots. Oh, 
would be fun too to put a, a wool tail or um, some kind of a fabric tail on would be really cute too but this tails in the file if you want to use it that's kind of cute so that will be the back of your box and on the front of the box we're going to assemble the bunny so we'll start with his body I guess after we'll put on his head Let's start with his body. We'll get his body on. And we'll put it on here. And we want to put his head on, but let's put his face together first before we attach it. So I think I'll start with his little mouth and his teeth. Looks a little odd, but once you see it put together, you'll understand why I did it that way. I think it's cute. So we'll put on his mouth. There we go. Well, that's a little crooked. I'm sure you'll do it straighter. And then we'll put on his snout with his whiskers. I've assembled that already because I thought this video was going to be really long if I did the details during the video. I'm sure you can put it together. There we go. Not cute? Ah, I love it. And now we have to put on his eyeballs. Like that. His eyes. So maybe I'll take um, a little liquid glue for those because they're small. Be a little hard to put on with the tape runner. So let's put those on. Put them around there. Oh, he's adorable. I love this bunny. his eyes on and he still doesn't look a bunny because he needs his ears so you have to put his ears on like that haha <laughs> he's cute so let's see let's put a little tape runner down at the bottom of his ear That, I guess. And we'll put this one here. Little tape on it there. Put his ear. And you could even curl one if you wanted to, would be really cute. So maybe we'll do that once it's attached. So there is your bunny face. I think I'm good to, yeah, maybe I'll put it on right away. But the thing is, you want to make sure, here, let's fold it this way. It'll be the easiest way. You want to make sure that you can still close the box. So you don't want to glue the bunny all the way down. What you probably want to do is just attach his face, like, from, let's say, half his snout down onto the box so that you'll still be able to close it. So let's try that. We'll do that. Lots of tape right around there. Yeah, I think that should be fine. So that when you close the box, you can tuck it behind the bunny. Close it and that'll keep it closed. So that works perfectly. Okay. Then we want to attach his paws. So we'll put some tape runner on those. 
So once you put all the components together to make the bunny, it actually goes pretty fast to assemble this. So there's one paw. There's the other paw. Oh, he's so cute. There's our bunny. And we'll put on his bow tie. Yeah, I think I would prefer to use a real ribbon bow tie. It would be cute. But we'll put this one on since I cut it. But I hope if you make some... If you have a coordinating ribbon, you'll use the real one. So let's just put it here. There we go. Oh, he's adorable. He's so cute. See how cute he is? Okay. So we're going to run some tape runner along the last part that we need to attach. And we'll fold it around. And we'll attach it. There we go. That's attached. And then we need to attach our bottom like that. So we'll take this piece, put some tape runner on it. attach that. Oh, he's adorable. And these are the little, now's when you would want to do a little gentle pleat and push the lid down. There you go. And there's your little bunny box. I love him. I think it's so cute. Yeah, adorable. And the back. And I think I will curl one of his ears so maybe I'll take something like this and I'll just wrap it around to give it a little bend because it's two layers of cardstock you might have to do it a couple of times and you can fold his ear down pretty cute so I hope you like this I'll hope you make some please post pictures if you do I'd love to see them Thank you for watching.